welcome inside the cab of this new AG XL machine. Um, inside this cab, anybody who is familiar with our new AG range of products will feel very much at home inside this cab. Uh, everything is very, very sort of familiar to them in terms of, of the layout and how that physical cab is. The cab is physically wider and also longer than our previous machines as well. This machine is particularly a platinum specification machine. So in front of me, I have my um, vision display dashboard with some DSP switches in front of me, such as automatic parking brake, rear auxiliary services, my overload system, transmission control, and, and steering modes. Um, to the side of me here, I have my, my main armrest, which is all mounted to the seat, so it's all following the seat up and down for some nice comfort. Now on this machine, this armrest is also adjustable, so we can slide the armrest forward or backwards and also change the height of the armrest. And then there's some locking screws underneath to lock that in position. We have our JSM joystick that now has the capacitive sensor uh, on there. So just by placing your hand on top, will automatically activate your hydraulic movements. Now in terms of control and feel, this machine having 200 litres per minute hydraulic system uh, is very quick in terms of cycle times. So it's also very controllable in terms of uh, operation. Um, so just physically just using this machine this morning, uh, we found this very, very nice to actually use. To the side of me, I have a nice little storage compartment. We have our boom suspension controls. We have our uh, transmission speed limit and also our, uh, hand throttle controls. We have the, the navigator as well as some more functions such as reversible fan, intelligent hydraulic system giving us the options uh, of quick lift, return to load and also bucket shake, uh, as well as eco stop and our constant flows. So in terms of operation, as I say, anybody who's used to the use of the new wagon machines will feel very much at home. We have the large panoramic windscreen uh, with a large windscreen wiper that's doing an excellent job today of keeping that windscreen uh, clear for me. Uh, as I say, it is a wider cab as well, so the vision that's available through this windscreen is really, really impressive. Uh, and then we also have uh, the side wiper as well, uh, providing excellent visibility to that uh, side of the machine. Now, something that's really, really noticeable in this machine is just how quiet it is. Um, so 69 dBA is the official sort of sound level recording, but just physically driving this machine around and uh, doing some jobs with it, it's very, very noticeable just how uh, smooth and how quiet that engine is. The Yamaha engine, 4.6 litre, 141 horsepower, uh, just does a very nice job indeed uh, of driving this machine along, but also without being too loud. So there we are now, travelling 30k, uh, nearly 35k there. Uh, and again, hopefully you can hear me all okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not um, too noisy. But it's a very, very quiet transmission. Um, now in terms of manoeuvrability, it's also quite a manoeuvrable machine. Uh, it's not too big. We can swing around in that uh, end of the driveway, no problem at all. Um, and that engine as well has lots and lots of torque. So we stick the foot down um, and get up pretty much to 40k just on this very short stretch of driveway. Um, and get that torque lock actually kick in. And really, you do feel that torque lock actually engage um, and drive that machine on. Um, I'll have boom suspension activated as well, so that's just helping to take some of those um, smooth those bumps out. I've got it in the automatic mode, so that's uh, again switching on and off above or below that four kilometre an hour um, speed. So this machine is fitted with the high view camera system. So as soon as I lift my boom, I have it set to automatic at the moment. I'm going to lift my boom above 25 degrees. You can see there the camera system is automatically showing on the dashboard. And with that camera system now, I can clearly see on the dashboard inside my trailer so I know exactly how full my trailer is and where to tip my next bucket for. So there you are, all in all, very, very impressive. Lots and lots of space inside this cab. Um, and also it's just very, very familiar to the rest of our range.